Hello Jesus Baby Club. Hello Jesus Baby Club. Good to see you again today. How have you been? Fine. Last week we talked about Genesis chapter 26. Very good. And then the memory verse was. Verse 16. What does it say? And Abimelech says, Go away from us, for you are much mightier than us. Alright, that was the story of Isaac and Abimelech. And how God blessed Isaac because of him and his obedience to God. So today we're going to talk about. Um, look, look. E, Jacob taking the blessing of Esau. Okay. How Jacob took the blessing of who? Esau. Okay. Esau. Now, Isaac, the father of Esau, Jacob and Esau. Esau. Remember that Isaac gave birth to twins. Had twins, two Rebecca his wife. Two, yes. And their name, their names are. Esau and Jacob. Jacob. Very good. Now Esau is supposed to be the elder one and Jacob the younger one. But the day that Esau ate red porridge, he sold his birthright to Jacob. And so as Abraham became very old, he called his children. Because every man in those days in the Bible, when the father is about to die, he will call the first son and bless the first son. So the blessing that he carries will not follow his first son. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So Isaac called Esau, who is his first son, and said, Esau, go and prepare me a very delicious meal like he used to do. A very delicious meal, food, food. All the food for me. You know that Esau, Esau is a... Not bad enough. Esau is a hunter. Can you remember that? I told you Esau is a hunter. He goes to the bush to shoot animals to hunt for animals. Like in Nigeria. Yeah, like in Nigeria. They are still hunters here, not only in Nigeria. They are hunters here. Alright, so because he always went there to catch bush meats and give them to his father. His father loved him so much. I told you about that in one of the stories. So his father always loved the meat, the bush meat he was always bringing for his father. The father said, Esau, go and cook with one of those bush meat that you normally bring. Cook for me so that I can bless you. So, are you listening? Yes. He said, go and cook for me a very delicious meal so my soul can bless you. Because Isaac knew that he's about to die. So he wanted to bless his first son, Esau, before he dies. He dies. But while he was telling Esau to go and cook for him so I can bless him, his mother and Rebecca heard the father talking. And the mother much. went to no, it's not it's talking too much. The mother, heard, the mother heard the mother heard the father telling his son, Go and cook for me, so I can bless you. And remember that Isaac lost his son while Rebecca lost no, Rebecca lost Jacob. So Rebecca went to tell Jacob, Jacob, cook, 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 cook. I just heard your father saying now that Esau should go and cook for him so that he can bless Esau. My son, hold up, hold up, hold up. Go and get a small kid for me from the uh, backyard. Let's quickly cook it and dress it. And then you will go and pretend that you are Esau so I can collect the blessing from your father. Yes, you know. Yes. And, and his, uh, Isaac, because he's now very old, his eyes are now dim, he does not see well. If you don't say for me, they're very old, they don't see well. Mommy, you cannot see well. Because yes. the eyes you see. When you are really very old, you know, your eyes will not be working well, you will not be able to see well. He gets upset, Mommy, what if my father catches me? <coughs> what if my father catches me and knows that this is Jacob and I came to deceive him? He said, because if you remember when I told you from the beginning, when Esau was born, he was born with plenty hair on his body. Can you remember that story I told you about? Yes. And he was he red. He was reddish in his skin. Esau has plenty hair in his body. So, Jacob told his mother, what if, what if I get there and my father touches my hand and see that I 
have hair like this so Jacob does not have hair in his body like this so and because his father does not see anymore the father normally uses uh, hands to feel to understand and then what about the voice what if he catches me he ends up cursing me instead of blessing me the mother said don't worry i know what i am do the mother now prepared a very delicious meal that the father would like no it's the wife now saying so you know what the father would like so he cooked a very delicious meal that the father would like he sure he gave it to jacob and said jacob go and give it to your father let your father eat so that your father will bless you instead of Esau. Remember that Esau has sold his pet rights. So in a way, Jacob is not the senior. So Jacob is not looking for a way to collect the blessing of the senior. You understand what I'm saying now? You will understand what is happening now? Yes. Good. So Rebecca gave the food to Jacob to take to his father. But before he left, Rebecca took the, the, the skin of the goat that they killed, the animal that they killed. He used it to cover Jacob's hands. Starts to be hairy. You know, animals, their skin is hairy. It's very it, since Jacob is not hairy and he's not hairy, it's now worn in the skin of those animals to cover mm -hmm. his hands. Yes, you. To cover the part that the father yes, can you. touch. To cover those parts of the hands that the father will touch. Now, when the father will touch, it will feel hairy like Esau's hands. Do you understand what's going on now? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So, Jacob took it, uh, took the food, and went to. Isaac, he said, My father, the food that you asked me to prepare for you is ready. The father said, oh, My son, how is it that you came very early today? Because his son went to the bush to hunt for animals that he will kill and cook for his father. The father said, Ah, his son, you came back from the bush very early today. He said, Yes, your God, that's Almighty God, brought animal for me to kill on time so that I will not stay too long in the bush today. Say so God gave me animal to kill on time today so I can come and cook for you. Ah I just said that's very good. But ah, well, the voice sounds like Jacob's voice. Are you Esau my son? He said yes that is me your first son. He told me to cook for you that when I cook for you bless me. It's me. So Isaac was not so sure because the voice, you know, he knows the difference between the voice. If precious talks, I'll know that was that's precious. If precious talks, I'll know that that's precious voice. He said, No, that's not my son's voice. He said, My son, come, come close to me, come close to me. So Jacob went close to him. So his son now felt his hands. He said, Ah, because he was touching the skin of animal, he didn't know that was the skin of his son. He said, Ah, the hand, the head, the body is like Esau's body with plenty of hair. But the voice is Jacob's voice. You understand? So, because he's blind, he could not tell the difference between the two of them. Because old age has blinded his eyes, it's not more seeing well. He could not tell the difference. He was considering the voice, but since the hair in the hand made it look like it was really Esau, he decided not to talk anymore. So he now said, bring the food. So he gave him the food and Isaac ate the food. He really enjoyed the food. Remember that it was Rebecca that made the food. So he made the best food for Isaac. He enjoyed the food and he said, his, his heart was so happy. His soul was so glad. So he decided to bless his son, thinking that he was blessing his son. He blessed him. He blessed him. He prayed all the prayers that he could pray on Jacob. Thinking that he was blessing Esau, telling God to sustain him with water that he will never lack in his life. And God should bless him with good favor in the sight of God and in the sight of men that everything that he will not suffer in life, he prayed and prayed and for all the blessings of God upon Jacob, thinking that he was blessing Esau. And so that was it. As soon as he just finished blessing Jacob, Esau just came in. Jacob has just got up, taking the plate away to go and run out of the house. Esau just came in. Oh, my father, your food is ready and back. Isaac said, Ah, who are you? He said, I'm Esau, your first son. You told me to cook for you that you will bless me. Ha ha, what is happening here? Yeah, Isaac is not surprised. But you just left here now, and I just blessed you. Oh, it means your brother Jacob came to deceive me. I said it. And that voice was Jacob's voice. 
But how did he make his skin so red that I thought it was his son? You do not know that he did have no skin to cover his skin. Ah, I said, oh, your brother has deceived me. He has collected all your blessing. He so said, what? My brother? That was that the other day. He, he collected my birth rights from me through that uh, red porridge that I ate. And now he came to collect my blessing. Oh no, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. If I, if I Father, just bless me, even if it's one blessing. Bless me with only that one blessing. The Father said, oh, my son, I don't even have any blessing left again. I gave him all the blessing. Hi, you will suffer, my son, because I gave your brother all the blessing. And you will serve him. I sustain him with bread. I sustain him with water. Hey, Mr. Cry, no, Jacob, this is my brother. Has he sleep me again? Has collected what's mine again? He cried with a loud voice. Father, bless me. Even if it's what Father said, no more blessing, my son. I'm sorry. He said, but the day that you will become restless, you become tired of everything that you have been through in life. That day, you'll be able to break the yoke of your life. You understand what I'm saying now? The day that you will decide that enough is enough, I don't want this curse anymore because now that I don't have any blessing, peace is now yeah. under a curse, you understand? It's not, he has lost all the blessing, he has lost all his inheritance, so he knows life is going to be very difficult for him. So the father told him, but the day that you will decide that an, uh, 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 um, that today is the end of all this problem. That is the day that you will able to break out of the course and you start enjoying blessing, even though I did not bless you. You will understand what I'm saying now. Yes. So Esau cried and said, Oh, Jacob, if I don't kill you today, you will know that I'm not Esau. And as he was just saying that, the one that you make a it and said, Jacob, 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 get up, get up, get up. Your brother is going to kill you because he collected his blessing. Run, 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 run. Run now to my father's house in Aram. That place that she they came to marry her from. The place that Eliezer went to marry Rebecca from. He said, run, 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 run to my brother, Laban. And stay there for a very long time until your brother's anger has cooled down. Do you understand? Yes. So before this son could come out to kill Jacob, Jacob took everything that he could take. And ran away. And ran away to his mother's place. Yes, he ran away. Maybe he was in Spain before. He ran away to Africa. He ran away fast. He ran away. He ran away. Yes, that was how far he went. He, he went, went to the living father. My sister would have killed him. No, 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 if he was still within the town, his sister would have killed him. His sister was angry. You know what? Mr. Wesley would have taken your blessing, your order. He, he ran that far. The place is very far. It's not a day's journey. He went a long journey before he could get there. And that was how he saw, I mean, Jacob ran away from his brother that wanted to kill him. That is the story of Genesis chapter 27. Did you point out the story? Yes! I too, I enjoyed the evening that was last week. We can enjoy Memory verse. Memory verse. Memory verse. Memory verse. Genesis. Genesis. Chapter 27. Chapter 27. Verse 38. Verse 38. Genesis. Genesis. Chapter 27. Chapter 27. That's a little bit of verse. Verse 38. Verse 38. And Jesus said to his and, father. And Jesus said to his father. Have you only one blessing? Are you only one blessing? My father. My father. Bless me also. Bless me also. Oh my father. Oh my father. He suddenly fell up his voice. And he suddenly fell up his voice. And well. And well. Genesis. Genesis. Chapter 27. Chapter 27. Verse 38. Sit down. Verse 38. And Jesus said to his father. And Jesus said to his father, Have you only one blessing, my father? Are you only one blessing, my father? Have you only one blessing, my father? Are you only one blessing, my father? Bless me. Bless me. Me also. Me also. Oh, my father. Oh, my father. And he 
fed up his voice. I'm easily fed up his voice. Genesis. Genesis. Chapter 27. Chapter 27. Verse 28. Verse 28. And Jesus said to his father. And Jesus said to his father. Have you only one blessing, my father? Are you only one blessing, my father? Bless me. Bless me. Me also. Me also. Oh my father. Oh my father. He saw lifted up his voice. And he saw lifted up his voice. That was after the father told him that Jacob had collected all the blessing. He said, don't you have one blessing left for me? Please bless me also. And then he started weeping. Don't even cry out. Weeping is more serious than crying. He wept like a baby. He's a big man. So that was what happened to me. What song are we going to take today? Let's, let's sing, be careful it will matter what you say. Okay. I yes, yes, yes. Okay. Because Jesus said that yeah, I will because kill you. Yeah, no, not even that. He was the one that sold his bed rights. He swore. He sold his bed rights without realizing that it will affect him. What you he said. Yeah, it was what he said with his mouth about selling his bed rights that now made his brother to take his blessing. Because he's not one the first son, so he has no right to go and collect the blessing of the first son. He has already used his mouth to sell his bed right to his brother. So you have no right again to collect the blessing of the first boom. So we are going to sing the careful little much what, what you say it? because it can affect you a long way. Do you understand what I'm it saying? You. When he was saying that he, he swore he's no more first and he don't know. He did not know that it will affect him when it comes to collecting the blessing of his first son. Be careful little mouth what you say. Be careful, little man, what you say. For the Father up above is hearing everything. Be careful, little man, what you say. Be careful, little man, what you say. Be careful, little man, what you say. For the Father up above is hearing everything. Be careful, little mouth, what you say. Be careful, little mouth, what you say. Be careful, little mouth, what you say. For the Father of above is hearing everything. Be careful, little mouth, what you say. One more time. Be careful, little mouth, what you say. What you say for the father of our God is hearing everything. Be careful, little mouth. What you say, all right, Jesus, baby. God, thank you for being with us today. We'll see you again next week. What do we say to Jesus, baby? Bye.